KUAM Sports Weekend Roundup is brought to you by Gatorade. Ali Adder, one of the captains on the women's Dartmouth rugby team. Big win against Mount St. Mary's. Um, Mount St. Mary's came and they brought us good competition like a bunch of the other teams. Um, I think what went really well for us is we set the tone really early and showed them, uh, you know, how we play and the craft that we're continually, continuously working on and um, working the ball out to the best space possible, whether that's out wide or uh, behind or through the gaps in the middle, uh, that was working well for us. And I think what really set the tone for this game was our game changers, our reserve players. They came in and they kept they kept that level up, they kept that level of intensity up, and they were we were able to uh, come out with a win and a shutout. So that was great. That was one of the games that you really had circled on your calendar, only because the big contingent of Guam players after the game. Uh, what was that like, just seeing all the friends and families come together? So the union started way even before the game. Uh, before the game started, I immediately went up and looked for them, and we were, you know, hugging and saying our highs. It continued on the field. Uh, every game we played, we just, you know, kind of gave each other a little dab. And um, afterwards, uh, the union was really, the reuniting of all their families and friends was really nice. Um, it was a little taste of home, and I think it, it was a special feeling, and it was a special game for both sides. In double I, double AG girls volleyball, the St. John's Knights improved to 2 0 on the season. The Knights beat the defending champions, Academy Cougars, in four sets 25 20, 19 25, 25 21, 25 23. Turning over to some soccer. The Father Duenas Friars beat the defending double I, double AG boys soccer champions. St. John's 2-0 at the GFA field. FD's Daniel Glasscock scored the first goal of the match in the 49th minute of play. Glasscock with the left-footed shot, getting it to go past the Knights keeper. Teammate Bobby Haddock put one through in the 60th minute. The Friars defense did the rest of the work, keeping the ball on the Knights side of the field. FD is 2-0 on the season. Their first win was a huge shutout over Notre Dame, 18-0. Keep it with soccer news, Aria Cruz and Colleen Naden were named captain and vice captain of the Masakata, respectively, by head coach Ross Awa for Guam's monumental return to the AFC Women's Asian Cup tournament after an 18-year hiatus. Carlson Gracie Jr. is on island visiting the academies in Anigua and Jigo. Carlson is a fifth-degree black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. He's also the head coach of the Carlson Gracie Academy in Chicago, Illinois. It's great to be here because this is a beautiful place, beautiful island, great people. You know, uh, I'm here uh, supporting my organization, uh, G Gabe Baker, you know, and uh, the school here of Cliff and Yigo, so it's uh, kind of new. I mean, much newer than the other one. So I'm here giving support for my organization, you know. His presence is definitely felt here at the gym. Uh, since his first visit in 2006, uh, the team has grown a whole bunch, so it's great that he gets to meet all of our new students here in Jigo. This is a, a brand new location we opened up in 2019. So it was great to have him here, bless the academy, and meet all of the new students that we have here. 38 kids and 29 adults are currently enrolled at the Jigo location. Follow Jigo Mafa on Instagram or check out jigomafa.com. You can also email jigomafa at gmail.com or call 788-0440. What I believe is like the spirit of the fight. You know, uh, every human being have that it's just not develop. That's supposed to be the good thing to do because you know, it was a good development of martial arts and you know get stronger. And uh, you know, everybody knows jiu-jitsu is a discipline, so it's good for education too, therapeutic uh, treatment. You know, every day, so it's great. You know, so I guess uh, what my grandfather developed many many years ago. It was a vision that he has, you know, to create a family which want to do martial arts and live in a good life. So I guess the project he has is, is, is become a, a, a really good thing for the, all over the world, you know. Some people don't really understand when they're around him 
how big of an impact he's had on, on jiu-jitsu across the world. Um, so, you know, as the kids here, they may not understand that they, they got to meet and share the mats with a, a huge legend in the game and an icon until they get older and do the, their research a little more. But it was a big morale booster for the team. It gave us, uh, it established us here a little bit more, uh, the credibility on the team. So it was, his, his visit here was uh, much needed for sure. Make sure to catch all your NFL action right here on the stations of KUAM. Sunday, October 17th on KUAM TV 11, 11.30 p.m. NFL on CBS. Miami Dolphins at the Jacksonville Jaguars. Monday, October 18th on KUAM TV 11. We have a doubleheader for you. Three in the morning, NFL on CBS. Kansas City Chiefs at the Washington football team. And then at 625 in the morning, more NFL on CBS. The Dallas Cowboys at New England Patriots. Switch the channel over to KUAM TV 8 at 1020 in the morning for some NBC Sunday Night Football. The Seattle Seahawks at the Pittsburgh Steelers. KUAM Sports Weekend Roundup is brought to you by Gatorade.